Greetings once more, dear friends. Fradigal Dragon back once again. And today, another quick unboxing, but this time going to do something a little bit different. Going to do a three in one today. These are the, the, the three most recent Shaw Brothers releases from 88 Films, kind of following on from The Golden Lotus, The Shadow Boxing, and To Kill a Mastermind. We're now getting The Kid from Kwantung, Facets of Love, and The Kung Fu Instructor. A little bit of a strange mixed bag of titles. And unfortunately, as we saw with the previous three releases, pretty much bare bones. There's almost no extra features on the discs at all. Um, and I think we're just getting some lobby cards so I thought rather than doing individual videos we'll just rattle through them all in one video so let's start with the first numbered spine which would be facets of love um, here we get a slightly x-rated cover with a little bit of nudity hopefully YouTube will not shut me down for that cover art is by Yu Ming Huang who I don't think I've seen doing cover work for 88 films before correct me in the comments if I am wrong and this is Facets of Love directed by Li Han Xing from 1973 um, I think following on from The Golden Lotus of kind of being a little bit more of a kind of semi erotic -y kind of drama more than a straight out action movie um, and another one that they're sort of selling on the fact that it has a cameo by Jackie Chan um, but I think if you're buying it for the Jackie Chan element that you really are a Jackie Chan completist because I think from what I understand he's barely in it but once we get our plastic wrap out of the way we get a nice kind of matte cover and we're getting a repeat of the same artwork and presumably a reversible cover with the original Hong Kong poster inside as is always the case for 88 films uh, this is dual region so region A and region B on disc wise we're just getting a trailer and a stills gallery and inside we're not getting a book um, or a poster we're just getting a series of lobby cards not a movie that I have seen um, but one that I've been basically trying to get every single one of the 88 kind of numbered Shaw Brothers series so I picked this one up as well but no idea what to expect um, if you want a review of this one let me know in the comments below and I will try and get to it once I've rattled through Arrow Shaw Scope Volume 3 and that is Facets of Love other two titles a little bit more of interest to me next one up is number 39 and this is The Kid from Kwantung uh, directed by uh, Su Cha and this one cover art is by Sam Gilby and this one I have seen before a uh, pretty good not the not the highest rated in terms of it's kind of one that sometimes flies under quite a few people's radar um, but I've always been a bit of a fan of Wong Yu from Dirty Ho and from Tales of a Eunuch and this is another one when he kind of takes the starring role um, and it's one of the kind of slightly rarer Shaw Brothers movies that we get to see um, villain extraordinaire Huang Zheng Li making an, making an appearance the last kind of act or the last reel in this movie pretty spectacular again repeat of Sam's art inside and as we saw with the others, again, we'll get a reversible cover with our original Hong Kong poster. And once again, we're getting lobby cards. On disc wise, we're just getting a trailer in the stills gallery again. And take a little look at our cards. And these are straight repos of the original lobby cards, which is nice to see. That's him dressed as a giant cock. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this movie pretty good fun. I'm not top tier shows, but definitely a pretty solid actioner and great seeing Huang Zheng Li over on the Shaw Brothers lot. And then last, but by no means least, uh, the one that I think I'm probably most excited about from this little kind of wee series of three. And this is the Kung Fu Instructor directed by Sun Chung. Um, so visually, I expect this one to be pretty damn great on Blu-ray and on disc wise. Again, we're just getting a, a trailer and stills gallery. Um, cover art this time round is by 17th and Oak. And a little bit of kind of spot gloss foiling on the cover. I wonder if there's been a tiny little bit of a mistake on this one. I'm just noticing that the silver foil is on the kind of white side. When I would have thought that I would have gone onto the kind of the coloured side. I think they kind of very wisely made one side that matches with the numbered spine. And then for those that are jumping into this a little bit later, you can kind of have it the other way around and not feel that you're having lots and lots of numbered missing from the series if you just started when they put them out in the US then you were kind of starting pretty late in the series I think it was the Chinese boxer that kind of kicked off the releases stateside which was pretty old, kind of late on in the series and so this time round again we're getting our nice sort of silver foil on the slip and again our reversible cover with our original Hong Kong poster 
And again, our series of repro lobby cards. I do really wish that the boys from 88 would have um, given us some sort of like an on-disc extra content. I know myself and a bunch of other YouTubers and podcasters who, who would very happily record commentaries for these movies, um, given half a chance. Um, if it's a budget thing, guys, I would do a commentary track for free, especially for the Kung Fu Instructor or for Kid from Pran Toon. I would mean, absolutely jump at the chance. So um, if you guys want to kind of see it getting back to extras, then do maybe drop them a line and say, you know, there's some people who do this shit for nothing, right? Because I would be one of those guys. And I know a bunch of other people who would too. So that's it. That's the third in this kind of most recent wave. I don't think we're stopping here. So expect to see more shots coming from 88 films soon. And like I say, if you'd like to see extras on them, then maybe let them know and we'll see if we can kind of push for them to try and include a visual essay or a commentary track. Because I think a lot of the movies really, really do deserve it, especially the Kung Fu Instructor. I think would have been a blast to have a commentary track for. Um, same applies for the Shadow Boxing and definitely to Kill a Mastermind. To Kill a Mastermind really, really um definitely deserves a commentary but that's it that's my two cents thank you guys all very very much for watching this do click the red button and subscribe if you don't already i think 60 percent of the people who watch have not done so and it really really does help the channel out a huge amount if you do so yeah click that red button if you've not already and i'll see you on the next video take care